Hey, what's up, Max? Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How's it going? Uh, today I've been very busy and I'm stressed. <laughs> it's the two of us now. Oh. Yeah. Very you heavy. You mentioned you had a you had a what? You had a Nintendo Wii. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. We have a lot of consoles, video game consoles. Really? Okay. Yeah. For sale or what? No. Oh. I want to keep them. Oh, okay. What kind of consoles do you have? Uh, a pair of Nintendo NES. Oh, really? The oldest? Yeah. I got a <laughs> Nintendo 64. Wow. I got two. I, I got two. And I you have, have them with uh, the games and everything. Yeah, I have games, controls. I have a PS1, a PlayStation. Good. I have two PlayStation. A PlayStation 3, and that's it. Ah, I got I have two Nintendo Wii's. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, I my kid wanted one, then we went to the Las Pulgas. We bought what we thought was the best option. Man, didn't work. It, it only has one remote, uh, and the Nantuck, the Nantuck, I think it's called. The nunchuck is very loose, you know, the shift. They are expensive. The original ones are very expensive. Yeah, it was like... like... $35. Oh, you mean the nun nunchuck? Yeah. The original... Nunchuck part. with uh, Wiimote. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I think we, we didn't make a good decision with my son, but anyways, it is what it is. Hey, and I have modified them. I modified my PS2, bought Nintendo Wii, and a month ago I modified my PS3. I have a lot of games now, but I can play them. That's sad. That's awesome. Hey, we have a lot to cover today because we have been stuck on the passive with prepositions. You know what? Let's start um, with the three of you. Daniela, good evening. Vadi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. I have a question. Mm -hmm. And when we, when you teach us about how to use who and that, that is a kind of passive voice. The woman that told you, the woman that told me, the man who I saw, no, no, that's not passive voice. Mm. Remember that you need the verb to be. Oh, true. I mean, you could use that, you know, those pronouns, let's say, um, as part of a sentence. Uh, the mole, uh, no, that, that place, no, hold on. Ah. Uh, that place, the place that is being closed, the place that is being closed, there you're using it as a connector. The woman who is being brought by police, the woman who is being brought by police. La mujer que? So yeah, as part of the sentence, yes, but it's not Strictly, yeah, it's not it's not the verb to be. Okay. okay. I think we, we saw that topic, right? That, who, which, where, yes. when. Okay. Yes. Whew. Those were, I can't even remember the name of those things. Uh, relative clauses. The relative clauses. Okay, what's it? What's in it for today? So yesterday we, we closed uh, that topic. We're gonna have to move guys through the topics tonight. 
because today is like the last uh, day of the week. Today is the last day of the week, basically. So let's move on. Now, on your platform, after passive with prepositions, well, if you remember, um, let's look at the examples really quick because uh, this is not an easy topic. For number two. And Jessica was talking about the passive boys in present continuous. Too many trees are being cut down right now, these days, or water is being contaminated. Then she used the prepositions at the end, by, because of, as a result of, due to, and through. Okay. Too many trees have been cut down because of overbuilding, we said. Okay. All of these uh, prepositions have similar meaning. They're very similar. Okay. Air pollution is threatening the health of people. The health of people is being threatened, threatened, I'm sorry, is being threatened by air pollution. You could say the health of people is being threatened um, due to air pollution, because of air pollution. Does that make sense? I am not sure. <laughs> okay. So this, this part, the preposition is just giving an explanation, is giving a, um, an introduction to the doer. Está haciendo una introducción um, al que hace la acción, al porqué de las cosas. So, pensemos, eh, la salud de las personas está siendo amenazada, okay, por uh, la contaminación del aire por la contaminación del aire. Ok. ¿Qué otro conector podríamos utilizar? La salud de las personas está siendo uh, amenazada debido a la contaminación del aire. A través de la contaminación del aire. Por o oh, uh -huh. Because of, because of air pollution. La salud de las personas está siendo amenazada por o debido a la contaminación del aire. Hoy sí. <laughs> es, es muy similar el significado de estos, uh, de estas preposiciones y las puedes utilizar um, intercambiándolas, no solo puedes decir by, también puedes decir due to, through, because of. Ok. Hoy sí. I see, I see the second one, a lot of times in, when people talk, so, I, yes, uh -huh. always is uh, on the final of the sentence. At the end of the sentence, like when you say, yeah. like when you say something though, when you say something though. Yeah. No. Yeah, okay. like that. <laughs> that is no. So, this is a buffer from Americans. Es una muletilla de los americanos. Es el do. Y significa. Eh, así como, como decir, huh? Ajá. Estaba lloviendo, va. Estaba lloviendo, Exacto, va. Exacto, buen ejemplo. Que va, está, está lloviendo, va. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Ya? Yeah? Es una muletilla. It's about. It's really tough. No, tough is something else. Tough. It has yeah. to do with strange. Tough, with tough, difficulty. tough, tough. Yeah, tough is something else. Tough is, is difícil. Una vida dura, tough life, for example. Okay. Good. Hoy sí, Dani. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. 
it's just the connector and that's it. Let me see if there was another example or something, no? Okay, she just gave um, a request again to go to the platform. We want you to do the next exercise. Rewrite the following sentences using passive plus the prepositions given. Remember, you may do them on our discussion box as well as in your notebooks. Number one, air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas. Bye. Number two, Okay, so basically here we have to do what we did yesterday. Uh, let's do it together. Air pollution is threatening threaten the health of people in urban areas. What will be the, the passive voice? So let's go part by part really quick. Who can identify the object of this sentence? The health of people. The whole thing? The health of people in, in urban areas. Okay. And then you will have what? It's, it's training. It's being threatened. Tra threatened. Excellent. Yeah, it's being threatened. Because we're using present continuous, By right? By air pollution. Yeah. So it will be is being. And then you leave the, um, the verb. In its uh, base form. Hold on, threatened, threatened, yeah, threatened. Yeah. It's being threatened by air pollution. And then the, you're being requested to use by. You're being asked to use by as a preposition, by air pollution. Okay, second, livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground water. Don't even think about what it says there. Just think about the parts of the sentence. What is the object here? Someone else. Mm -hmm. Buddy, Danny, Elvis, Jarvin. What is the object of the sentence? Lifestyle problem. Mm -hmm. That's, that will be the subject. Mm -hmm. This is passive, this is active voice. This whole sentence is an active voice right now. Let's move it to passive. Can I say something? Yeah. In Spanish. Yeah. Eh, últimamente usted ha estado hablando mucho en español. Yo creo que por hacer eh, énfasis en la dificultad de, de lo que estamos viendo ahorita. Mm -hmm. Esto es difícil siempre y cuando usted no entienda el significado, no lo pueda traducir. Si usted lo traduce, entonces todo se simplifica. Si traducimos yeah. es, vamos and... a saber cuál es el, 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 el sujeto. Soil and underground water. Oh, que, perdón, Max, no te entendí tu observación. ¿Estás pidiendo que traduzca toda la oración? No, les estoy diciendo uh -huh. que si lo traducen, Es más fácil entenderlo. Sí, es lo que, correcto. Se, se simplifica. Mm -hmm. So, I have no idea what is a livestock farms. Livestock farms? It's a farm that has live, oh. anim, live, anim, live animals. Live animals, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Livestock farms. Yeah, a lot of hens, a lot of chicken. Yeah. Alive. Pork. Okay. Have contaminated soil and underground water. Okay. So, las granjas, digamos las granjas, porque nosotros las conocemos con aviarias, porcinas, right, etc. Okay. Han contaminado el suelo y el agua. How do you say underground? Um, Subterránea. subterránea, gracias. El agua subterránea. Que las granjas han contaminado el suelo y el agua subterránea. Okay, where is the uh, the object, guys? What is the object? Okay, le voy a dar una pista. El, el objeto siempre va después del sujeto. 
perdón, del, 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 uh, del verbo. El objeto de la oración siempre está en el complemento, pues, está después del verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo acá? Eh, Daniel, Abadi, Elvis, Jarvin. Contaminated. Excellent, yeah. That's the, that's the verb. So this is the verb, contaminated. Por ende, ¿cuál es el tiempo gramatical? Pass. You sure? Mm. Oh, no, have, have. No. Pass para school. Mm -hmm. So this is? Has. Present perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect. Very good, guys. Lives of harms have contaminated. So the, the noun, the object will be soil and under ground water. That will be your new subject. You just need to move that to the beginning of the sentence and it will be your subject. Soil and underwater, okay? Now we need to use the grammar tense that we are being requested. In this case, we have present perfect. So we have has or have. Soil and underwater? Has. Have. have. You have two objects, soil, underwater. Okay, so now soil and underwater have contaminated. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, have been. Have been. Yeah, the past participle of the verb to be. Soil and underwater have been. Mm -hmm. Contaminated. Contaminated. And then because of. Livestock farms. Livestock farms. There's, there you go. Again, soil and underground water have been with an with a, the past participle of be right b e e n contaminated because of livestock farms. Good. Now is your turn. That was a clear example. After the verb, look for the main verb. And you will get the, send, the the tense that you're being requested to use. Um, let me see. Go ahead, guys. Okay. Can somebody give me the object of this sentence? Acid rain. Okay. Acid rain. Uh, acid. <laughs> acid. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, acid rain will be the what? The object, right? The subject. The, the object now it's being moved as a subject. That is correct. So this is the subject now. Acid rain. What is the grammar tense? Present perfect. Present perfect again, yes. Has created, has created. So present perfect. So acid rain. Can somebody continue with the pre the passive voice? Just like the last one. Like the last one, right? Okay. Has been. Has been. Has. So acid rain has been. Uh huh. Created. Hmm. That doesn't make sense. The burning of gas, oil, and coal has created acid rain. Acid rain has been created. Mm -mm. So oh, I'm sorry, yes, has been created. Thank you, Max. Created as a result of, that's right. Burning. Totally right, thank you. Okay, acid rain has been created as a result of the burning of gas, oil, and coal. Coal. Do you understand all of these words? I 
I forget the meaning of coal. I forgot the meaning of coal. Yeah. Coal. Um, carbon. Okay. Burning of gas, oil, 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 and coal. Okay. Good. Let's go with the next one, please. Now is your turn, guys. You do it. Follow the example. Morning. A hole. Mm -hmm. A hole. A hole in the ozone later. A, a hole in this ozone. Mm -hmm. A hole in the ozone layer. CFC is a kind of gas. CFC is a kind of gas, yes. Okay, uh, a hole in the ozone layer, continue. A B? Oh, no, no, no. Same example as before. This is present perfect. Come on, guys. Has been? Uh, has been created. Now we use the connector that we are being requested through, okay, through the use of CSE. like hairspray. Wow, that was a long one. Okay, so again, here's the passive voice has been created, has been created through the use of CFCs. Now, This, you can call it as well, um, is similar to the present perfect progressive. It sounds like present perfect continuous, but well, that's a different topic, forget it. Okay, uh, number five, the destruction of rainforests is harming rare plants and wildlife. La destrucción de las lluvias forestales está dañando um, plantas y vida silvestre raras. Hmm. Plantas raras y vida silvestre. La vida. Los bosques, no sé cómo se dice. Bosques. Rainforest. Hmm. Bosques forestales. <laughs> Nebulosos. Nebulosos. Yeah, it happens, okay? So, again, one more time. Where's the verb? Harming. Harming, perfect. Harming. So what is the what is the grammar tense? What is the grammar tense? Progressive. Present. Present, progressive. Okay, so what's your object? Rare plants and wildlife. Perfect, rare plants and wildlife. How do I continue with the passive voice? Real plants and wildlife. Um, uh, Vera, who's talking? Okay. Rare plants and wildlife are being with ing, b e i n g, are being what? Harmed. Harmed. Arbin, Arbin. Yeah. Like this. Are because you have two objects. Rare plants and wildlife are been present continuous. And then I did I need the main verb in past participle. Harmed through the destruction of rainforests. Through the destructions of rainforests. 
Okay, and number six, Jarvin, Elvis, can hear you. Mm. The, verb it. the verb is eaten. eaten. Perfect. Okay, so you have the auxiliary has as well, right? Has eaten. Okay. What is the grammar tense, Elvis? What is the grammar tense? Uh, uh, hold amount of the firm, furlong. Has eaten up. Okay. Huge amount of farmland. Okay. Huge. My God, my dyslexia right now. Hold on. Huge amount of farmland. Okay, who can continue? It has, it has been eaten up. Has been eaten up. Yeah. Do you, now, do you do? Excellent. Do too. Do too? The rough of silver. Suburbs. What's it? Okay. Una gran cantidad de tierras agrícolas uh, han sido devastadas o comidas, no, devastadas debido a al crecimiento de los suburbios. Okay. Good. There you go. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next topic, okay? Livestock. Okay, what's up next? Uh, we have the pronunciation reduction of auxiliary verbs, okay? Been created. Newspapers are being thrown. Let's practice your pronunciation. Listen and notice how the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, and have are reduced in a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water's being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Let's practice your pronunciation. Listen and notice how the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, and have are reduced in a conversation. Listen and practice. Fresh water's being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Okay, um, a volunteer. Go ahead, Max. Okay. Which number, one? Number one. Fresh water's being wasted. Perfect. Buddy, you go next. Newspapers. Okay. Um, fresh water is being waste. Okay. Newspapers are being thrown away. Uh, there. Newspapers. So, or, newspapers are being. Newspapers are. Mm, are mm. being. Are being thrown away. Thrown, thrown away. Throw. What is thrown, teacher? Thrown is the past participle of throw. Ah, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, oh, don't yes. worry. Newspapers, <laughs> newspapers, newspapers are, are, I don't know, hold uh, on, hold on, hold on. Let's sorry. listen again. Newspaper is periodic. Uh-huh. Listen and practice. Fresh water's being wasted. Too much trash has been created. Newspapers are being thrown away. Parks have been lost. Okay, so newspapers, newspapers are, newspapers are, 
Newspapers are being thrown away. 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 Okay. Fresh waters being wasted. Fresh waters being wasted. Too much trash is being created. Too much trash is trash is trash is being created. Parks, parks have been lost. Parks have been lost. Parks have been lost. So ahí lo que tenés que hacer es enfocarte en el sonido final del auxiliar. That's it. Lo único que no me pareció eso es que newspapers are, ella dice claramente are, newspapers are being wait, thrown away. Newspapers are being thrown away. It's just a speed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Madeline, can you try too much trash? Uh, too much trash being created. 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 Perfect. Very good. Elvis, go with parks. Parks have been lost. Okay, repeat. Parks been lost. Parks been lost. 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 Parks been lost. Lost. Parks. Hace esto. Parks. 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 Excellent. Parks have been lost. Parks in lost. 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 Vale, quiero que te enfoques en la extensión del sonido de la S y que al final, al final va a sonar una T en tu, en tu... Vas a empujar la punta de tu lengua contra tus dientes superiores en la parte de atrás. Y decís lost. 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 Vale. Cerrar los ojos, Lost. enfócate en la S, solo el sonido ahí. Los. Ok. Los. Los. Seguís pensando en la T, estás clavado con la T. Los. Y... Oye, los. Los. Perfecto. Los. Ah, mírame. Los. 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 ¿Cómo te hace, cómo te hace el cobrador en el microbús, Elvis, cuando te va cobrando el dinero? Right, so, eh, pensé en ese sonido. Yeah. Los. Los. Sí. Los. 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 Ahora, Los. ya casi, ok, Los. muy bien. Y luego agregas los sonidos T. Los. Los. Okay. Los. Los. Hmm. Los. Seguimos practicando esa palabra, ¿ok? Ok, watch this video and practice the pronunciation reduction of the auxiliaries, ¿ok? We have to move. Ok, next video. What can we do? I'm just going to play it and then we're going to practice together, ¿ok? Are you able to give solution to problems? Listen to the conversation and find out about the problem Carla and Andy talk about and what solutions they come up with. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is, but a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then, another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Apex Industries. Oh, no. My uncle is one of their top executives. What do Andy and Carla decide to do? Wait a minute. Before we do anything, shouldn't we make sure that we've got our facts straight? Absolutely. The best thing to do is to monitor the situation over the next several weeks to see what exactly is happening. How do we do that? Well, we can take pictures of the river and even take water samples to see how bad the situation is. 
We can get some friends to help. Okay. And maybe I could talk to my uncle about it. Oh, no. I don't think that's a good idea. Not yet, anyway. Why not? I don't think we want to say anything to anyone until we have a clearer picture of what is going on. After we've monitored the situation for a while, then we can decide whether we need to have a meeting with a representative of the company to tell them what we've discovered. Okay, Carla? Okay. Did you listen to the entire conversation? If you did, tell me what Carla and Andy decide to do. Well, we can take pictures of okay. the river and even take... Hey, what's the name? Really long, right? It's a very long conversation. So let's take a look at it part by part. Look at all this dead. But before I do that, I'm just going to send you the picture. I guess you're not able to see it completely, right? So when they use weather, they use it like to say uh, if we want to talk to weather 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 yeah weather as if yes this is between as two if. options yes whether you like it or not yeah because i would like to to add at the end or not but mm. then you use weather weather Is this on this part or the second part of the audio? Second part. The second part. I'll listen to it. Hold on. Okay. So look at all. I want you to pay attention as well to the pronunciation because this audio is very good on pronunciation. Look at the image if you want on the WhatsApp and follow me. Just look at all. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? How can they do that? Isn't that against, isn't that against the law? I'm sorry. Yeah, isn't that against the law? Yes, it is. But a lot of companies ignore those laws. A lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. Ojo con el acento, con el, um, el estrés en esa palabra, eh? Management. So, well, one thing to do about it is, to do about it is, to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story. I repeat, to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Apex Industries. Oh no. My uncle is one of their top executives. Okay, my uncle is one of their top executives. Now, let's look at the second part of the audio. So can somebody tell me really quick, what's going on here in this part of the audio, of the uh, video or the conversation in general, really quick, what's going on? They decide to take picture of the of the river. Why? For because the fishes are dying. dying. Okay, be careful with because the fish, fish are dead. Are dead, and they takes um they think take samples of the water to have proof about the company are damaging the river. Okay, to prove that the company is damaging the river. I like that, very good. Okay, so, so far that's what's 
happening, right? The company is damaging the river. Okay, let's look at the second part of the, of the audio. Listen to it. Top executives. What do Andy and Carla decide to do? Wait a minute. Before we do anything, shouldn't we make sure that we've got our facts straight? Absolutely. The best thing to do is to monitor the situation over the next several weeks to see what exactly is happening. Okay, so far, did you understand? The best thing to do is to monitor the situation to see exactly what's happening, right? The replay, place. Please. Come again? Replay, please. You want to, okay. To see what exactly is happening. The best thing to do is to monitor the situation over the next several weeks to see what exactly is happening. The best thing to do is to monitor the situation over the next, he said, over the next weeks. Oh, over the next several weeks, I think he said he used several to see exactly what's happening. Okay. How do we do that? Did you hear? How do we do that? How do we do that? Well, we can take pictures of the river and even take water samples to see how bad the situation is. Okay, what are they doing? They decided to take pictures and to and take water samples. Water samples, okay. We can get some friends to help. Okay. And maybe I could talk to my uncle about it. Hmm. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Not yet, anyway. Why not? I don't think we want to say anything to anyone until... Okay, so what did Andy think? You know, that... is it time to tell uh, the uncle? No, yet. Not yet. I wanted it to... Not yet. You got it, you got it. Okay we have a clearer picture of what is going on. Are you getting a clear picture of this audio? Are you getting a clear picture? Do you understand that definition, that, that phrase? To get a clear picture. I want to get a clear picture. Are you understanding? No? Explain. Explain a clear picture. I need to have a clear picture of this problem. Basically. Yes, you got it. It's a clear idea. Picture is, exactly. You're being using um, picture as a figure instead of idea. You got it, a clear picture. After we've monitored the situation for a while, then we can decide whether we need to have a meeting with a representative of the company to tell them what we've discovered. Okay, Carla? Okay, after we've, we've, we have monitored the situation for a while, we can decide whether we want to have a meeting with some representatives of the company, whether or not we want to have. He omitted um, not or not. He omitted the second option, which is not. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Simple. There's missing one word there. Which one? I don't. I don't get it at the at, at the beginning of the second part when the when the woman start to speak. They say something like facts. I don't know. A facts? You mean yeah. um the part the second part of the audio, right? Yeah. The start of the second part. That's it. What do Andy and Carla decide to do? Wait a minute. Before we do anything, shouldn't we make sure that we've got our facts straight? Oh, shouldn't we make sure we have, we got our facts straight? Hmm. I got it. The best thing to do is to monitor the situation over the next seven. Okay. I like that phrase, but she's referring to what they're going to write, what you're going to send to the reporters. Shouldn't we make sure that we've got our facts straight? Shouldn't we, shouldn't we make sure, no, shouldn't we make sure that we got our facts straight, our facts, F-A-X, straight? So what we're going to say, it's gotta be 
clear. Another way to say it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, questions. So did, did you understand what they're going to do? Yes. Okay. They're Even going that aside and ninety-nine percent. Yeah, yeah. After some explanation, I think you got it. But you have to practice some audio listening, guys. It's very important. Okay. Last part. Mm -hmm. Infinitive clauses with and, and phrases. So this is part of what we were talking about, infinitive clauses. Let's take a look at the video and then we will practice in couples. We are only five. I'm concerned about this. Give me one second. I'm really concerned on the attendance today. And Madeline had to leave. <laughs> okay, let's move on. This time we'll come up with infinitive clauses and phrases to come up with solutions. Pay attention and take notes. Infinitive clauses and phrases. One thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. Another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story. The best ways to fight HIV AIDS are to do more research and educate people. Let's go back and notice the expressions used on the grammar box. One thing, another way, the best ways. With these expressions, we must continue using one way plus infinitive plus is or are plus infinitive. For example, one way to help the homeless is to build more public housing. Now that you have learned to give solutions, can you think of two more for these problems? Remember to do it on our discussion box. One way to reduce famine suicides? Hmm. No, it says famine. Famine. Famine, what is famine? It's like when you're hungry. Oh, when, when you're, you're starving, sick. starving. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Thank you, Max. Oh my God. Thank you. One thing to help the homeless is one thing, one way to reduce. Okay. Let me do something before we move on because this was very interesting. And I think this little chart here is very self-explanatory. It's very self-explanatory regarding the grammar. I'll send it to you right now. One second. I want the formula. Yeah, two. I'm going to send it right now. You may change the expression. What other expressions could we use instead of a one way? One way or another. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here's the formula, but well, let's take a look at this example right away. One thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management, okay? Another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story. The best ways to fight HIV AIDS are to do more research and edu educate, educate people, and educate people. Okay, let's think about a problem. What's the best thing to do? And this is the way you introduce the topic. What is the best thing to do? What is the best way to fight? 
what is what are the best ways to to solve to solve to end up to finish okay so what is the best way for El Salvador to come out of poverty? What is the best way for El Salvador to come out of poverty? Look at the examples and follow and give me an answer, at least one. We're only five, so I want one answer from each of you. Repeat the question, please. Yeah, I'm about to write it actually. Okay. You said I'm about to. Yeah. Okay, what is the best way for El Salvador to come out of poverty? So here you're not talking about probabilities. Follow the examples. One thing to do about it is another way to stop poverty is the best way to fight poverty is or the best ways to fight poverty are. Mm -hmm. Then you follow with an infinitive, you see? To talk, to get, to do, to educate, to help, to assist. Okay, I'll go one by one. Max, would you like to start? No. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, no, Daniela, okay. so I'm going to go from right to left this time. Daniela, what okay. is the best way to for El Salvador to come out of poverty? One thing to do about about it about it <laughs> is to invest in education. Invest in education. Very good. I like that, it's true. Jarvin, what do you think? I think the best way to solve the poverty is the education, but you have to know is the, that thing don't change in a minute. It's for a long time to do it. Okay, it takes a long time to be done. It takes a long time to be done. To be done. Okay. One thing you need to know about it is, I like that. One thing I like, you need to know about it. Good. Elvis. Yes. What is the best way to for a soul to come up of the property? For me, it's the education, because the is the is the more people are. Uh, uh, high education, uh, we create uh, 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 better uh, dynamic economy, the better oh. dynamic economy. Oh, good. I, yeah, good idea. We improve economic dynamics. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, totally. I agree with you. Vadi. <laughs> For me, the best way to weigh for El Salvador to come out of the poverty is um, is the birth control. The birth control. The birth control. Birth control. Birth control. We are because we are a lot of people in a small territory. So, uh, overpopulation. Mm -hmm. Overpopulation. Okay, control. control. Po population growth. Control like population Japan growth. to child. Yeah, to 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 children. To children. The children per family. What do you think, Max? Oh, I believe the optimal way to 
to get El Salvador out of poverty is uh, through education. Okay. And we also have to improve uh, the, the it, what? Education at home. We have to take care of our, ch of our children. Mm -hmm. And we have to improve education at school as well. Yeah, and the quality of education. Yeah, because Buddy well, mentioned something about birth control, but uh, we have the example of China, for example. China. There, has there are a lot. The largest population on earth, but they're but the they most on top right now. They're the most educated culture in the world and more than education i was reading a report uh, it said that every year over 20,000 japanese yeah japanese not chinese chinese they get they they kill themselves they get suicide because their culture is too strict so they dishonor they dishonor their culture they feel like dying and they become depressed and then they get killed themselves. A clear example, if you want to go to a party with a Japanese, you have to call them one week before. So if you tell a Japanese, hey, let's go on a party. And he will tell you, okay, I have available next Thursday in a week from today. At 7.30. They schedule everything. <laughs> they schedule everything. That's crazy. The that... education makes the culture. Yeah, discipline. That's but all. it's impossible in El Salvador because the people are uh, not educated. It's, don't have the proper education. It's a big problem. It's, it's a bad problem. educator, yes. So, but yes, if you are educated in this principle, discipline, and everything is possible to do what you have to do, whether you like it or not. Okay, good. That's why I'm here, discipline. <laughs> I like that, okay. One way, so this is a structure, make sure you make more examples. Do you have any questions on this topic? Okay, so you have one way. Uh, another way, something else that we can do. Okay, some another way um, to help. Some other ways. Now, talking about negative ways of speaking. Okay, something irrelevant to help the homeless is listen something irrelevant to help the homeless is to build yeah i don't know give a negative idea mm, can you give me another example of an irrelative clause something useless to perfect help yes a useless way, listen, a useless way to help the homeless, a useless way to improve education in El Salvador. <laughs> hey, that's this is a very interesting topic, so think about it, okay? Do you have any other question? I think she gave, she gave oh, yes, yeah, she gave an example, so let's see. One thing to help the homeless is to build more shelters. You know what is a shelter? Vadi, I saw your eyebrows like. Shelter is a way nice. Is that, huh? Elvis, Elvis. Nice. Shelter is a, where the people are refugium. Look for our, where the refugees. Thunder, thunder is, Okay. Refugee down dangerous, yes. uh, dangerous situation. Refugees go to be safe. Mm -hmm. 
it is where refugees uh, go uh, to be safe. Right, homeless uh, people. The situation like, uh, to be safe, okay, from um, dangerous, from danger, from danger. Excellent. Danger, dangerous situation. To be safe from danger or dangerous situations. Okay, good, true. And one way to reduce famine is, I had never heard that word before. One way to reduce famine is global hunger, right? Global hunger. Have you heard that commercial on YouTube? They play it after every song. If you play music on YouTube, yeah. you're gonna hear that a lot. Well, have wait. You heard, mm -hmm. Have you heard famine in Spanish? No. What is it? Famelico. What? Famelico. Famelico. Wow. Está famelico. You're dying. De hambre. Yeah, so you're starving. Yeah. In case you didn't know that term, guys, starving. You starve. You starve and you're starving. Okay. Dying of hunger. For you, 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 you can say, I'm famished. Okay. I'm famished. Like that? Yeah. They're famished. Muerto de hambre. Something like that. Okay. Oh, I learned something new today. Oh my God, thank you. I never used that word before. Okay, good, good, good. You see, even me, I continue learning. Okay, guys, so that's it on section two. And time is gone. It's 9.01 p.m. I have to leave you and we will continue tomorrow at 9 p.m. This week will go really fast, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.